You'll be amazed at how effectively pivot tables and charts in Excel can manage project stakeholders. We'll create and share a dynamic template in Excel with three easy steps. Generating pivot tables and charts, configuring pivot tables and their aggregation method, and adding slicers for dynamic data analytics. You can follow along by getting the Excel workbook via the provided link in the description below. Step 1 is creating the pivot table and chart. Our case study focuses on a project with several key stakeholders including investors, government agencies, local communities, and contractors. We've collected the stakeholders' feedback regarding their satisfaction with communication, timeliness, and quality of work. We can use Pivot Chart and Table to summarize the data. Go to the Insert tab and click on Pivot Chart and Pivot Table. Then select the data range and include column headers. We may choose the chart and table to be placed in the existing worksheet next to our data. In the pivot table field list, drag a stakeholder group to the rows area. Then drag each of the three rating categories to the values area. Step 2 is configuring pivot tables and their aggregation method. In a stakeholder management, using the average aggregation method provides a more balanced view of overall sentiment. Since each stakeholder group has provided multiple feedback points, averaging these ratings helps in understanding the general level of satisfaction. You can see that Excel defaults to summing the data. To change this, click on the drop-down arrow next to the field in the values area of the pivot table field list. Then select value field settings. In the dialog box that appears, select average and click OK. Repeat this for all three rating categories of communication, timeliness, and quality of work. Step 3 is adding slicers for dynamic data analysis. Slicers can significantly improve the interpretation of results by allowing you to dynamically filter and analyze the data. A slicer provides an interactive way to filter pivot table data and focus on a specific stakeholders or categories without modifying the entire table. To add a slicer, click on the pivot table. Go to the Insert tab in Excel and select Slicer. Choose the field you want to filter by, for example a stakeholder group. The slicer will appear as a floating box on your worksheet and list all the stakeholder groups. You can change the appearance by navigating to slicer tools and selecting a desirable style. You can conveniently select one or more stakeholders by holding the control key. And here it is, an easy and short implementation of the pivot table and chart using only three simple steps in Microsoft Excel. If you found this video useful, please consider subscribing. I hope to have your comments and see you in the next one.